Hi friends, it's Miss Brenda. Today's story is titled, Who's Got Spots? by Linda Williams Aber. Let's go ahead and get started. Good luck, called Kip's dad. This was the day Miss Beck was going to announce the solo, solo singer for the Autumn Fest. Kip was hoping it would, it would be him. Kip could hardly sit still. He was too excited. He was also worried. What if Miss Beck stood up in front of the whole class and said someone else's name? What if the name she called is Kip? Miss Beck announced with a big smile. Kip will be our solo singer. All the kids cheered. For the first time since tryouts, Kip was relaxed. What a great day this was turning out to be. Practice for the Autumn Fest began right away. It takes many voices to make a chorus, said Miss Beck. Kip will sing the solo, but each one of you is important, so be sure to come to every practice. Don't worry, said Kip. He was sure that nothing would get in the way of their show. But the next day, Kip found out that something was getting in the way. I have bad news, said Miss Beck. Three people in the chorus have chicken pox, Travis, Mai, and Corey. All the kids, kids began talking at once. Have you had it? I've already had it. Will I get it? Do you get chicken pox from a chicken? A chicken? Oh no, said Miss Beck. You catch it from someone who has it. The good news is once you get chicken pox, you can never get it again. Still, the room buzzed with worried voices. What about the show, cried Kip. Well, let's see, Miss Beck said. There are 15 people in our chorus. We can perform if at least 10 are well by the date of the show. What are the chances of that, whispered Alice, the girl next to Kip. Chicken pox is really contagious. I know, said Kip in a worried voice. Miss Beck sighed. Ah, all we can do is wait and see. Who knows what will happen in the next two weeks. Waiting won't take the worry away, Kip said to Alice on the way home from school. I wish I could figure out what the chances are for 10 of us to be well on the day of the show. Ha! Alice laughed. Do you have a crystal ball that tells about chicken pox? A smile spread across Kip's face. I'll talk to you later, he said. I'm going home now to make something that will tell us more than a crystal ball. I'm going to make a chart. Three kids have chicken pox now, Kip thought. It only lasts seven to 10 days, so they'll be better in time for the show. He made three marks in the have it now column. Then he made one mark under never had it. That mark was for himself. Kip looked at the chart. They had it column, didn't have any marks yet. 11 kids to call, he said. Better get started. Kip called Alice first. I'm doing a chicken pox survey, he told her. Have you had it? I had it last year, Alice said. You went trick-or-treating for me because I couldn't go out, remember? That's right, Kip said. He marked his chart. Kip made more calls. Everyone had something different to say. I had it, Jim said. I was scratching the whole time I was away at camp. I'll shut the doors and turn the locks. I'll never get the chicken pox, rhymed Kelly. Chicken pox? I had 219 spots, willed Anna. My mom made me wear mittens so I wouldn't scratch, Matt told him. Kip called Sophie and Chloe next. Neither of them had chicken pox. Two more in the never had it column, he thought. Only four more calls to make. The next day, Kip showed the chart to the class. Look, he said, we have seven kids for the show. How do you figure that, asked Rob. Like this, explaining Kip. Four kids had chicken pox already, so they can't get it away again. 
The three kids who had it now should be better and plenty of time to sing. That's seven kids. All we need is 10. I get it, said Amy. So at least three more of us have to stay healthy. From that second on, everyone who had never had chicken pox tried everything not to get chicken pox. Amy started wearing a mask she got from a doctor's office. Don't breathe on me, she said to everyone. Fred wore gloves all day. A glove a day keeps the germs away, he said. Jackson sprayed germ killer on the chairs in the classroom. Just to be extra safe, he whispered. And Kip tried very hard to sing with his mouth closed. To protect my throat, he mumbled. The next day, Chloe, Fred, and Sophie were absent. Chicken pox, Miss Beck said sadly. But Travis, Maya, and Corey will be back tomorrow. Uh-oh, said Kip. My chart doesn't work so well anymore. I can't keep track of who's sick and who isn't. How about making a graph with the kid's name on it, Alice suggested. We can use sticky notes. Great idea, said Kip. Then we can move them around if things change. And so here's their new ch chicken pox chart. Phew, Kip said when they were finished. It's two days till the show. If nobody else gets sick, we'll have 12 kids. The day before the show, Miss Speck had some more bad news. Callie and Jackson, she said, shaking her head. Chicken pox. Oh no, Kip thought. We're down to 10. He turned to Rob and Amy. Okay, you guys, none of us can get sick. That night, Kip made a terrible discovery. When he took off his shirt, he looked at his stomach and gasped. Oh no, I've got a spot. So here it is. Kip felt like crying. I have to be in the show, he thought. I just won't tell anyone. Uh-oh. Do you think it's a good idea for Kip to not tell anybody that he doesn't have chicken pox? Kip crawled under the covers in the darkness he thought about his solo. He didn't feel good about it anymore, and he knew why. Kip sat up and shouted, Mom! Dad! I have chicken pox! His parents hurried into his room and turned on the lights. Kip showed them the spot. Dad looked closely, and then he laughed. You don't have chicken pox, he said. That spot is just a freckle. And the next spot Kip saw was the spotlight shining on him as he sang his solo perfectly. There he is. All right, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Bye.